judgment in the matters of Dover District Council versus CPRE Kent and CPRE Kent versus China Gateway International Limited. Lord Carmouth will explain the decision of the court. This appeal concerns the circumstances in which a local planning authority has a duty to give reasons for the grant of planning permission and the consequences of its failure to do so. The proposal was for a major residential development in the area of Dover District Council, which involved an incursion into the Kent Downs area of outstanding natural beauty, contrary to national and local planning policies. The planning officers had recommended the grant of permission, but only subject to substantial amendments, including a reduction from 520 to 365 houses, which the council's economic advisers considered would not jeopardize the viability of the project. They also advised a binding legal obligation to secure proposed economic benefits, including a planned hotel and conference centre. The planning committee rejected this advice and resolved to approve the full scheme and without the proposed planning obligation. Members expressed the view that the harm to the area of outstanding natural beauty could be, quotes, minimised by effective screening, although the planning officers report had said that screening would be largely ineffective. CPRE Kent sought judicial review of that decision. It failed at first instance, but the Court of Appeal allowed the appeal and quashed the decision to grant permission. The Supreme Court unanimously dismisses the appeal, uh, with the single judgment being given by myself. The judgment reviews the various statutory rules relating to the provision of reasons for planning decisions and authorities relating to the content of the duty and the consequences of breach. The statutory rules provide for a local authority to give reasons for refusing permission or for imposition of conditions, but not for grant of permission. However, in agreement with the Court of Appeal in an earlier case, this court holds that the common law may impose a duty in particular circumstances, such as where the grant of a controversial permission involves a departure from established policies and against officers' advice, as in this case. There is no dispute in any event that in the present case, which involved development within the scope of the environmental impact assessment regulations, the Council was in breach of a duty under those regulations to provide a statement of, quotes, the main reasons and considerations on which their decision was based. No adequate reasons were given in this case. There was no explanation of how the members felt able to reject the views of their own advisers on key points, including the impact of the development and the limited effect of landscaping, the viability of the alternative proposal suggested by their officers, and the need for a binding obligation to secure the economic benefits. These points were not merely incidental, but fundamental to the officers' support for the amended scheme. The defect in reasons went to the heart of the justification for the permission and undermined its validity. Thank you. The court will now adjourn.